Hey, it is your buddy Peace and Harmony with you here today. We're zooming in and focusing in on a very important topic, and that is really how to sense if an individual is not right for you, if they could perhaps not have your best interest in mind, um, be using you, um, having a toxic influence on you, or furthermore, being an emotional manipulator, someone who has actually a personality disorder, a cluster B personality disorder, such as a narcissist, a covert narcissist, a sociopath, or a psychopath. How do you really determine this? How do you really protect yourself? How do you learn to identify and become intelligent about people? Well, for one, you can understand that these people oftentimes will have an unmistakable uh, mask of superiority or charm. So they will seem to be highly attractive in nature, almost like a magnet, um, where they want to command attention. They want to command your eyes, your ears, your uh, focus. Um, they can be very distracting. Um, but furthermore, there's an energetic field around them which just seems to be attractive and almost like you can't take your eyes off of them. Almost as if you feel that, you know, you just tend to assimilate the relationship as, wow, I've just encountered a such and such. And oftentimes they seem like they are different than everybody else. Not like, oh, this person is, you know, uh, defined in their, per, you know, profession or, you know, they are, idio you know, kind of unique individuals. So it's not so much that this person is artistic or professional or a doctor or a lawyer where they've basically, you know, defined or honed their skills and they're different in that respect, you tend to feel that there is something different about them. In other words, you might have a, you know, jaw-dropping um, experience where, wow, this person has never given me this type of attention before. This, this date is never like no one else who I've ever encountered. So you tend to want to drop everything to be with this person. And then very quickly, the love bombing starts where your world becomes absorbed by them. And a lot of people then equate this or with the misunderstanding or erroneous judgment, then begin to define it positively saying, wow, the prayers to my answers have just arrived. This is my knight in shining armor. This is my nitrous in shining armor. You know, you tend to make all these assimilations or leaps of judgment. And, you know, people, you know, furthermore, just tend to dive head into a relationship because they feel that there is something, quote unquote, so different about this person. And they then, you know, furthermore, this experience is the love bombing. And these individuals see when they are pulling one over on another. In other words, we talk about it, somebody being hooked. Um, and not just as a relational manner where your boundaries are respected, your integrity is, perfect, is respected, your needs are respected, you have an empathetic relationship. In other words, there's a give and take um, that is also you know, defined by empathy. These individuals do not have empathy. And furthermore, you know, the balance in the relationship is extremely unbalanced, but that's why they oftentimes target for supply those individuals who are very lonely, um, needing companionship, um, needing a validation or affirmation. So it becomes like a real perfect fit for very specific types of people. And make no mistake that these individuals can scan a crowd and find exactly who they want to target for supply, particularly on the more severe, you know, case of the psychopath, they know exactly who they want to target and they know who is easy to manipulate. Those people who are overly kind, generous, naive, you know, those sort of qualities. And don't define this negatively if you have, you know, been in a relationship with these people. It is just how, quote unquote, good these people are. And so oftentimes you might say, you know, the other issue is that, um, you know, other people might compliment this person for, wow, look how, you know, that guy was good. He really, you know, had a great affair behind the back and, um, you know, nobody knew or she is so good. You know, they um, might use that terminology so it can be very confusing and furthermore, leave you without a lack of, you know, with a lack of support. In other words, they just go, wow, well, it was just an affair or that guy is just a sex addict or that girl is just, 
you know, a, a sex, you know, uh, m you know, magnet, or they might just say that, you know, a very charmer, a player, they, they might just, you know, sweep it off like that. When very much that is not the case, you know, these people are looking to um, target others. And you will oftentimes feel in the beginning, it's because there's something about them which is unlike everybody else. And that is because, you know, one in 100 is a psychopath. Um, and so you need to realize that, you know, out of these, this percentage of, of the population that there are people who have a neurochemical network and processing of emotions, which is different from humanity and not supportive and not based on empathy, care, consideration, love, uh, you know, um, you know, equality, things of this nature. There's people who very much think very much to the contrary. Um, and it has been described, you know, like an interspecies predator. These people will really take advantage, hurt and destroy others and oftentimes take a pleasure by hurting others. So um, it is very important to define perhaps that experience. See if you can find that experience within the relationship that you're thinking about that has been harmful and see if indeed you did kind of feel this in the beginning, but maybe not pay attention to that inner voice while it was occurring or trying to get your attention. It is your buddy, Peace and Harmony, with you here today, and I hope that these videos do help. Please share and please subscribe for more great tools, videos, discussion, and support.